Sounds like your assessment of Remy Duval was spot on. Listen to this. Look at what he's doing to us. Our neighborhood, our homes. I, for one, refuse to sit by and watch as some rubber-lipped nigger runs roughshod over everything we hold dear. And what is it you hope to accomplish? I will strangle that motherfucker! That's what I'll accomplish! I apologize. Shouldn't use that kind of language. He is egging you on, Remy. You are much too important to be caught up in all of this. Is the situation unfortunate? Of course it is. But nothing he is doing changes anything. Let Sal's men handle it. Sal's men? Olivia, the people of this neighborhood expect me to protect them, not some greased-up wop assholes. No, 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 I need to respond to this. I need to send a message to those niggas and the guineas. That here in Frisco Fields, we take care of our own. This is a mistake, Remy. You could jeopardize everything we have been working toward. Our very way of life is at stake, and you think I give a goddamn about some casino? Sometimes I think you've forgotten your station in life, Olivia. A minute or so later, Olivia called Sal, told him Remy's Southern Union pals were out looking for you. If you head back up there, I'm sure it won't be long before you run into some of them, get them to tell you which hole Remy's hiding in. Yeah, once I'm done with that prick, Olivia's next. But getting to someone like her ain't gonna be easy. Between Marcano's men and all those rich white assholes she runs around with, they'll spot me coming a mile away. I need you to look at our options, come up with a plan. Okay, I'm gonna look at our options and come up with a plan. What's wrong with you, man? Personal hygiene is very important. together a hunting party with the Union boys <laughs> for your ass up near the old lookout point tonight. Guess they'll have to start without you.
Another came waltzing in. Oh, I'm stuck! Uh, give me a hand! Frisco Fields is one of the city's most prominent citizens, Remy Duval, was savagely murdered. Witnesses report he was bound to a cross and set on fire. Let's see if we can get a statement from the police. Chief Wilson, you care to make a comment? It's those goddamn nickels. Every last one of them needs to be rounded up and shot. That's quite a statement, Chief. You need to wipe the shit out of your eyes, son. Take a look around. There's a goddamn war going on! Frisco. I'm Hold your horses, do you? I'm in Frisco and I could use some supplies. I'll head your way now. Need to make a deposit. Better not lose this. I guess our business Every is done here. Let me see what you, you, see what you got. That's Get a big.
me if you need me. Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. Have a listen. Not for nothing, Olivia Marcano's a real piece of work. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> You sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. Got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense of giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> if they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's their job. Had me out there. Fucking asked me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform. Or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words from old Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing lower on the face of God's earth.
Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? And get them folks their drinks, now! Stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. So, do they have a suspect? Not a one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that... Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. To Remy. Shame we had to let her go. She's been with us since our boy was in diapers. But you tell me, what was she thinking? Letting her son into our pool like that. First, it makes me wonder what she's been up to behind our backs. But more than that, what kind of ideas has she been putting into my son's head? Right. Just give it time, hon. Hey, let them burn their bras. Just makes Brenda it easier would've to see what they're working with. That's so mm. lovely. We found Get over here with that bottle, ma'am. He's gonna wish he was dead. Reginald, please keep your voice down. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. She hands me these brochures in Mexico, Brazil, Honduras. Well, come over to watch the game on trash. Saturday. I said, sure honey, thing. if I'm gonna spend my hard-earned money on a vacation, I want to go somewhere with a civilized Let's be civilized. It's all right. He's right. resting with Jesus, man. It's crazy. And then, it's me. Well, I mean, every last like goddamn dime is gone. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. The see what you am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. Because right now, it's I'm the only the thing the Southern Union has to his name. Chanting, hollering. I appreciate all of the pageantry, but something about the whole thing seems so taggy. Thank you. Yep. Yes, he was a good man. Hey. I've never actually seen a nephew either. I had some money. 
Maybe. My condolences. Spill it. What do you know? Well, let's just say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. She says I don't talk to her enough. Like I can get a word in it twice. Whatever you say. Oh man, dingo nigga. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Because they're all going to be white. Fuck them. Truth. Mm -hmm. Damn straight. I'd think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says. I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, you, me, him. We're all connected. <gasps> Do you see light trails? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> see you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn Donovan. These people are in mind. I see Remy. No, wait. Oh, I am Remy. He's possessed me. Something is wrong. Oh, Get me out of here now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them. They've all come down with some kind of. <laughs> what? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean. Yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here... Any final... <laughs> Damn shooting gallery! Handsome. Dash. Even. Mm. 
He wore the finest suits, drove the best cars. There was always something terribly romantic about all of this. There ain't nothing romantic about robbing and killing people. Well, maybe not. But it certainly was exciting. Where's DeGarmo? DeGarmo? They have me out in a building. Down by the wall. Thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. Trouble. Back in that dipshit. asking you a second time, boy. You the sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing! boys. Y'all, we 
means I'm done. you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Yeah. Oh, God. He's dead. Stop the car. I want to get out. That's a... You high or something? There they are. That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just want to go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while. Oh, you, you see, I'm hurt here. Where was I? Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay, thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. What happened to Steven DeGarmo? Lincoln left him with me and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. What you said? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah, to yeah. Just like you wanted. Any sign of the gummo? He's gone. I, mean, I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. Well, this is a goddamn mess if ever I saw one. Between Duval's will and his fucking Lincoln Clay, it seems this shit's never gonna end. At least we don't have to cut Duval in on the action anymore. <laughs> you trying to be funny? <clears throat> The Gamo's lawyer is going to keep this tied up in court for years. I ain't got that kind of time, you understand? Or money. There's got to be someone we can get to. Force them to make this right. That takes a lot of pull. Pull we ain't got. Could always call Leo Galante and ask him. Fuck him. The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now bring in the commission. They're going to want to cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make this call. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Leo! <laughs> yeah, Sal, how the fuck are you? 
Listen, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. Welcome to the party, lad. Now, if only we had a couple of paints. I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. My commitment and dedication to what we doing ain't being reflected in the action I'm running, which is almost non-existent. Our boys are holding this district, and they need to stay there, brother. It's the best thing for all of us. Whoever you call to lock down the action is up to you, and I respect that. But now you're talking long-term responsibility. You trusted me with the last piece of the city. No reason to not trust me with this one as well. This is all news to me, but... If you still want to send it my way, I'll take it. I done my best to honor Perla. Can you return the favor? Gotta say, this action's perfect for Cassandra. This ought to fit real nice with what we already got going in the holler. Sends the right message to our people as well. Better luck next time, I guess. Are we done here? I got a whore named Sadie and a bottle of Shane waiting. All right, that's it. We're done for now. Tonight we go ahead. 